The lawn down the line. Rose, finally! Jeez. Sorry for the delayed response. Answering seems to be what to do right now. You sure seem to be absorbed in whatever you're doing on that computer. Were you talking to someone? Ah, right. I forgot I gave you the code for the crystal ball. And here I was, thinking I could safely delay responding to calls without seeming like an ass. <sighs> the way it usually works. Oops. Oh no, no! I don't blame you for not responding. You must be very upset, after all. Are you okay? Why exactly would I be upset? Um, because... Oh, I thought you would know by now. Know what? Um, about John's dad. And your mom. <gasps> Rose? Rose! Oh no. Please say something! You're making me nervous! I should have gone looking for her! Why didn't I?! But you were just trying to manage the situation! John was doing it too! But he at least did go look for his father. It would have been the normal thing to do. I don't even know what I was trying to prove anymore! Don't be so harsh on yourself. John was being John, and you were being you. You just took the problems we had very seriously, and had put all of your attention at solving them. It's not your fault that it happened. Beck's powers are too... and we all... <sighs> I don't know if I'm any good at consoling people. Sorry, I don't want to make you feel worse. You're doing good. For someone raised by a dog. Or anyone, really. Thanks. Seems like we all lost our families today. Dave lost his bro. And I've lost Beck. Although it'd probably been my fault. Or Jade. Even trolls lost their monster parents. Maybe it's some cruel part of the game. Rough way to make us grow up. Rose? For some reason, even with all the destructive chaos surrounding us, I never thought she was in any danger. Let alone that she would die. Growing up, it always seemed like something more significant had always been meant for her. Like she was a heroine displayed in some way, resigned to the inglorious duty of raising me. Like, she always had knowledge and ability beyond what she let on. It was always intimidating, but nonetheless a source of respect, which was childishly begrudging on my part. I now think she was just waiting for me to catch up with her. But now I... Can't. God. It's so... So sad. Yeah. Thanks for being with me now, Jade. Thank you. You took it all with fortitude. Probably because my emotions have now ceded to anger. This should not have happened. I hope you aren't planning on doing something rash. I already was. I was going to go to sleep, fly to a sun bigger than our universe, drop a bomb in it, and die in a supernova explosion. Venita la Comedia. Oh, sheesh. So if my course of action is to change on account of my mood, it can only become less impetuous, don't you think? It doesn't work like that! You never liked my plan very much, anyway. Well, no. But I was trusting that you had thought it through and it was our best hope. I'm not sure if I did. Now it seems like an utterly terrible plan. I made it without a full understanding of the nature of the scratch. Oh. And what are we going to do now? Stop being so cowardly for once. 
stop sitting on my ass endlessly conversing with dubious beings. I could short circuit this endlessly expanding game of chess we're playing. What does this mean? I will kill Jack Noir right now. Make him pay. Oh no. No, 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 no. Rose, that is a much, much worse plan. He will kill you. Most likely. But the scratch will wipe us out anyway. And reboot the conditions of our session. I suddenly don't feel much like sneaking through the back door of the furthest ring for retribution by distant supernova. I know how you feel. I was dead set on stopping Jack too, but we have to think of a more sensible way to do it. Whether my existing plan was sensible or not, it seems I've been allowing myself to be manipulated by another omniscient being in some grander plan regardless. <gasps> What's going on? Greetings, ladies. My condolences for your loss. Miss Lalonde? Miss Harley? Rose, who is this? You can call me Outsider, if you will. This is a private conversation. Private even to those who know it word for word. Proceed. I will be here watching. Ignore him. I don't even know what's going on anymore. You were discussing Miss Lalonde's intrepid new variation on suicide. As one with a passion for the subject, I'm intrigued. Shut it. If it's true the gods have selected me for a service, maybe the power they've given me will be sufficient. Maybe they wanted me to kill him all along. Ha <laughs> ha. Shut it! Please don't, Rose. I know you are angry, but you aren't thinking straight. But I am. I'm fully aware I'll probably die and fail. Scratch happens, we start fresh. No recollection, no problem. That's a horrible way to look at things! Jade, as an ambassador of Skya, maybe you'd be willing to talk some sense into your friends? You should understand she's been corrupted by various entities with some rather... questionable motives. Rose, maybe White Suit Guy is right? The Dark Gods gave you all these powers and seem to be helping us with the dream bubbles and stuff. But what if they are not actually good? They're enormous, ugly, and live in darkness. That doesn't necessarily make them bad. Just like wearing a fresh white suit when speaking with creepy elegancy doesn't necessarily make one good. <laughs> you are learning about issues regarding trust, Miss Lalonde. Ah, if only there were a way to make this determination with certainty, through a reliable, straightforward source within reach. For instance, at this exact moment, perhaps one that is spherical and devastatingly handsome. Rose, what is this weirdo talking about? The cue ball. Oh. You found it! Is he saying that you're able to use it? It advised me to talk to you right now. Then maybe it's not a bad idea. Yes, Rose. Listen to Jade. She's far less manipulative than I am. Sounds awfully like a manipulation to me. Ho oh, oh. ho. What are you suggesting I ask it? Well... Since we don't know much about the gods, why don't we start with the basics? So, you're saying I should ask it if the gods are evil? I guess that's a way to put it. This idea gets my vote. Go ahead, ask Seer.
Do dark gods of the outer ring possess good intentions toward us from our perspective? <laughs>